coastal living, it's more than a design style or color palette. It's a way of life in Southwest Florida. Clean, calm, and comfortable, it figures into the way we work and play. So in this week's show, we're going coastal. Our cover story today is a behind the scenes look at a photo shoot for the cover of Turquoise Magazine. We show you final takes and outtakes in Strike a Pose. Well, you just look for the most graphic and interesting photo locations within the, the space that you're using. Plus, in our new series, Positively Healthy, surgeons getting a better handle on your operation, thanks to next-gen robotics. It can decrease their um, hospital stay, can decrease their blood loss and decrease their pain, and increase the chance that they'll go home sooner and, and return to normal activities. Those stories along with tips and scoops from our newsroom. I'm Amy Osher and this is Behind the Headlines. I'm Amy Osher, thanks for joining us. This week's show has us going coastal. Fine Coastal Living is the subhead of our luxury magazine, Turquoise, highlighting the best of Southwest Florida style. We're featuring elements from the magazine in this week's show, and we start with the cover story. Long before you ever see this, the art team on a fashion photo shoot is going through this. All told, a few hours of hair and makeup making a beautiful girl into a cover girl. There's much more than meets the eye. We trailed along behind the scenes of a turquoise magazine cover shoot. Well, you just look for the most graphic and interesting photo locations within the, the space that you're using. Getting everything picture perfect requires a lot of manipulation, including a wind machine and light reflectors. The Florida sun can be a fickle friend. The heat of the sun and certainly the strength of the sun is, is unlike any other uh, location I've shot in. Good lighting and scenery is a backdrop for the model who is styled to perfection. So I choose from as many stores as I can. The stylist picks clothes that sync with the editorial theme. Since it's February, I wanted to use colors that people are going to wear in February. Black and white is always a given, but I did other colors like the plum and pink, you know, because it's very romantic. Outfits must be the right fit for the model and showcase local retailers. Her body type is perfect for petunias. I mean, petunias is versatile, but I knew that they would have perfect styles for her body type and her age, even though we somehow like to make it a little bit older. Oh yes. Good life? Yeah, can you give me a bump up on the lower light, please? Here's something you probably didn't know. Models wear borrowed clothes, but shoes are bring your own. Yeah, I always tell the models, like always bring a good black and a cream you know, taupe, because if it's an outside location, I can't use the shoes. It's a long day with few breaks. We were always looking for the next shot. We're setting up for the next look, and I think there's really not a lot of downtime. Typically, five to eight looks taken at different locations. The photographer with an eye for dynamic movement, uh, which is what we're going to be concentrating on today. The stylist hoping to make an impact. Like, oh my gosh, I want that dress. That dress would work so well for this event. That's, that's the impact I want to have. A snapshot of what they do, working together to freeze a memorable moment in time. When you think of turquoise, you think of clear skies and crystal blue waters, elements that define our surroundings. Fittingly, Turquoise Magazine expands the field to include fashion, style, dining, and travel. I would say that it's luxury coastal living. It's a reflection of our community. Uh, we do lots of different stories about uh, dining, about arts, culture, fashion, those types of things. Uh, it's something different than the than the newspaper. Uh, I think that the Naples Daily News provides lots of different things like this television show, uh, like the magazine that are going to give readers and in our community something different. So it's not just the, the hard daily newspaper that you that you think that we do, which we do a very good job of, but it's something something different to add to our portfolio. 
So this is my daughter. Uh, she turns five in August, and this was her first cover shoot, obviously. Uh, and then this is one of my friend's kids, and then our stylist. Uh, those are her two two kids. So, so adorable. Yeah. They really do. We're, we're showcasing, obviously, Vanessa a little yeah. bit. But she really does capture the beauty of all these locations. Definitely. In this show, we're previewing the February edition of Turquoise, giving you a sneak peek before the magazine goes out. Being February, a lot of features are inspired by love, including the allure section, which looks at love in the tub. Showcase this month are items from our very own Naples-based Naples Soap Company, including relaxing bath soap, salt scrub, hair care products, and scented candles, all mini splurges for you or your Valentine. And on to another favorite way to relax and unwind. How about a craft cocktail? Our local bars and restaurants are all over this trend, stirring up signature drinks. A regular feature in turquoise, top bartenders and mixologists sharing their secrets. This particular drink is called the Chapter 8, Volume 1. Uh, we use uh, Banyan Reserve Vodka, uh, Bloom Gin, and Koki Americano uh, that we infuse with a citrus lavender and sage tea. So it's a uh, really nice, refreshing uh, play on James Bond's original martini called the Vesper. And uh, the name comes from uh, his meeting of Vesper Lind in uh, the Casino Royale books. Uh, and then we just, at the finish, we just do an essence of a little lemon, give it a little brightness. Very bright, nice, fresh, uh, fresh drink for the summertime. Um, and the ball of ice that we put it on, we, um, the larger the ice, the, the slower the dilution. So even serving the drink on the ice, it keeps it cold, but it's not going to water it down. And then on the other end, we do uh, it's, um, the, the craft spirit forward version of a pina colada. This one we shake. Um, over 20 times. We really want to break up the ice a little bit, uh, get it you know, nice and cold. Um, we call uh, just a single strain and what it does is we put a little ice on the pond. That's the uh, little crushed ice on the pond. So that's what the saying goes. When we come back, the latest robotic technology is now in Naples and it's opening up new possibilities for abdominal surgery. That story is right ahead after the break in our Positively Healthy series. Life here is amazing, and so is the joint care. At the Total Joint Center at Physicians Regional Healthcare System, we've changed the experience of joint replacement for good. With our comprehensive joint care program, most hip and knee replacement patients return home in just two days because we know you want to get on with your active life. Pain-free living starts at Physicians Regional Medical Center Collier Boulevard and Physicians Regional Medical Center Pine Ridge. My name is Steve Unser and cabinetry is my specialty. I have been creating custom designed cabinetry for 20 years in Southwest Florida. And now I am celebrating the grand opening of our new Naples showroom. Steve Unser Cabinetry will help you design your kitchen, bath, or home office with stunning results. Offering the best quality of cabinets with a wide variety of design options and pricing to fit any budget. If your kitchen isn't becoming to you, you should be coming to us. Now two locations to serve you. Is your auto insurance keeping pace with your life? Ask for a AAA triple check insurance review to see if your current policy is still a good fit. An agent will assess changes in your life, like new vehicles or drivers. Make sure you've got the right coverage and all the discounts you deserve. They'll also see how a AAA membership can round out your protection on the road. Plus, provide roadside assistance, discounts, free services, and vacation extras. Ask for your AAA triple check today. It's Bears end of month sale. We're selling everything at dramatically reduced prices. Save big on 100% all genuine Italian leather. Just $3.77 for these Natuzzi chairs. This luxurious sofa is only $9.97. Bears has the largest selection of 100% all genuine leather in Florida. Everything is priced to sell. This elegant king bed, unbelievably priced at just $8.97. Bears end of month sale. Don't miss it. 
The area's only 30 minutes or less ER service pledge means you'll find less waiting for the care you need. And because we're full service hospitals, a lot more care if you need it. Less waiting, faster care. Only at Physicians Regional Healthcare System. It may sound like science fiction, but it's science fact. Robotic surgeries are changing the way doctors approach many operations. Here's the latest in Positively Healthy. The trend started a few decades back, the rise of robots in cancer treatment. Using high-tech tools, surgeons are downsizing operations, giving patients good results with added benefits. It can decrease their um, hospital stay, can decrease their blood loss and decrease their pain and increase the chance that they'll go home sooner and, and return to normal activities. Over the years, Physicians Regional Healthcare Systems performed thousands of surgeries using the Da Vinci robot. It offers multiple arms which can cut and sew through small poke holes in the body, along with a camera providing 3D high def views. Fast forward to today, and a next-gen robot is taking surgery in a new direction. This robot can be applied to all different kinds of GI cancers. It's called the Da Vinci XI, the first in Lee and Collier counties. More versatile than older versions, it includes a movable table. We can position the table um, so that we get better visualization. And that's been a game changer because with the older versions of the robot, we would have to disconnect the robot from the patient, move the table, and then reconnect the robot. Standard Da Vinci robots operate most efficiently in fixed areas, like the prostate. Gastrointestinal surgery presents greater challenges because it often involves several locations. The intestines are mobile, they move around, and they're located all the way around the abdomen in the pelvis, left upper quadrant, right upper quadrant, right lower quadrant, so you need to be able to move around. The movable table opens up that option, giving GI cancer patients a new approach to remove disease in a less traumatic way. We want to take that out very meticulously because for cancer surgery, we want all our margins to be negative. So using the robot helps us do that. This new advancement won't be the last, as robots are securing their spot in the surgery suite. I think we'll be doing more and more, almost all of our operations this way. I think that the benefits to patients just continue to improve. Now we're on to our newsroom features, beginning with the weekly commentary. Thanks, Amy. Hi, folks. Brent Batten with the Naples Daily News here. Are you as excited about the Academy Award nominations as I am? Good, then we can talk about something else. Donald Trump was inaugurated last week, leading some on the left to lament that we're doomed. For once, I agree with him. But my reasons for believing the end is near have nothing to do with the new president. There are all sorts of other signs out there that the apocalypse is upon us. For starters, cheerleading is now a provisional Olympic sport. So cheering the people playing the sport is now a sport itself. What happens when people start cheering the cheerleaders? Will cheerleader cheerleading be the next sport in the games? Olympic organizers say they want sports that appeal more to young people. If that's the case, make Xbox an Olympic sport or bottle flipping. Next, in Florida, a protester was arrested this week, accused of smearing bananas on cars at Donald Trump's mar largo club. I mean, honestly, who smears bananas on cars as a form of protest? You could probably smear a banana on a car and charge people $50. Tell them it's some sort of protectant. Keeps your car looking new longer. Finally, scientists in India are heading to Nepal to measure Mount Everest. It seems a massive earthquake may have lowered the mountain by as much as, get this, one inch. Imagine the impact on the climbing world if that's the case. The whole experience of scaling Mount Everest will have been cheapened. Yeah, you reached a summit in 2017, but I climbed it back in before the quake when it was a real mountain, not some miniature version of its former self. Makes you wonder if it's even worth the effort. I think I'll just stay home and get back to not watching this year's crop of Academy Award nominees. I'm Brent Batten, thank you. Next up is our On the Beat feature with our daily news reporting team sharing tips and teases on their upcoming stories. So what's new? 
Well, we have a new study in affordable housing that's set to start on Monday um, here in Collier County. Uh, Urban Land Institute is coming down. They're going to be here for a week. And what they're really going to try to dig into is the uh, both the causes and any solutions to the affordable housing crisis here in Collier County. As uh, homes have become more and more expensive, more and more police officers, firefighters, uh, teachers, nurses uh, have been priced out of the county. And now this is the most ambitious ambitious um, study that the co uh, Collier County has done in years. But there's been several false starts in the past. Uh, the county has not followed through on some of the um, on some of the plans and programs that they've put in place to help solve affordable housing. So this week is going to be all about finding solutions, um, um, funding mechanisms, and anything we can do to hold uh, government officials feet to the fire on if they're going to follow through uh, with these plans uh, to bring more affordable housing to Collier County. Hi, I'm Shelby Reynolds. I'm a features reporter at the Naples Daily News and I'm working on a story about jackfruit. Uh, there's a new company called the Jackfruit Company that is now selling their products at Naples Walmarts. Um, and basically they harvest jackfruit from India and it can be uh, used as a meat substitute and flavored to be anything you want to use it as. So teriyaki, barbecue, um, and it actually grows here in Southwest Florida. So I've talked to uh, some local growers and gardeners who grow the fruit. It is the largest tree-borne fruit in the world. Um, it can be up to 50 pounds. And so you can find that story about the fruit and the company um, in print on Saturday and online at NaplesNews.com. Hi, I'm Alex Glorioso, the political reporter here at the Naples Daily News. On Wednesday, State Senator Bill Galvano from Bradenton introduced a uh, bill to the regulated industries that would renegotiate our gambling compact with the Seminole Indian tribe here in Florida. This could be news for Lee County actually. Um, the bill brings allows slot machines to the counties that have voted to approve them. That means that our track in Benita Springs could get slot machines by the end of the year if the bill is passed. Senators are hopeful that the bill will pass this year. Florida um, is currently involved in two lawsuits, um, and this bill would actually help settle those lawsuits. So people are hopeful it will pass, but stay tuned. It's going to be a really controversial process this year. Thanks. Hi, everyone. My name is Eric Statz. I'm a reporter here at the Naples Daily News, and I wanted to tell you about a feature that's in today's paper. Uh, that we worked on with uh, Fort Myers News Press and a reporter up there named David Dorsey. We put together uh, eight profiles of people around Southwest Florida of different political persuasions, different ethnicities, different faiths, uh, basically running the gamut to get their opinions on President Trump and his, uh, his first few days in office. Uh, we'll be returning to these same people uh, to ask them about uh, different issues as they come up uh, after 100 days, uh, how they think President Trump is doing. So uh, keep an eye out for that and catch it on NaplesNews.com. Getting on the water is a must for many people to truly enjoy coastal living, and the annual Naples Boat Show is a good jumping off point. Thousands turned out to drool over rows and rows of bay boats, flats boats, cabin cruisers, even yachts, all of them docked on dry land on the lawn at the Naples Municipal Airport. As the event has grown in size, it's moved from parking lot to parking lot. This year marked the 50th year for the boat show. It now includes more than 100 vendors, along with seminars and fishing celebrities. In hitting the half century mark, organizers credit a healthy boating community that stayed afloat even during the recession. Coming up, there are mansions and then there are mega mansions. We'll take you inside a huge house up for sale with a humongous price tag to match. That story is coming up on Behind the Headlines. Life here is amazing and so is the joint care. At the Total Joint Center at Physicians Regional Healthcare System, we've changed the experience of joint replacement for good. With our comprehensive joint care program, most hip and knee replacement patients return home in just two days because we know you want to get on with your active life. Pain-free living starts at Physicians Regional Medical Center Collier Boulevard and Physicians Regional Medical Center Pine Ridge. 
Hiring the right moving company is important. Best Moving and Storage is a family-owned and operated business serving Southwest Florida for over 22 years. From our free in-home estimate until the last piece of furniture is in your new place or stored in our climate-controlled warehouse, we treat you like family. Best Moving and Storage is fully licensed and insured with all of our employees being certified drivers and packers. When it comes to protecting your treasured belongings, choose a company that's experienced and trustworthy. Call Best Moving and Storage today at 239-592-6565. It's Bears end of month sale. We're selling everything at dramatically reduced prices. Save big on 100% all genuine Italian leather. Just $3.77 for these Natuzzi chairs. This luxurious sofa is only $9.97. Bears has the largest selection of 100% all genuine leather in Florida. Everything is priced to sell. This elegant king bed, unbelievably priced at just $8.97. Bears end of month sale. Don't miss it. Is your auto insurance keeping pace with your life? Ask for a AAA Triple Check Insurance Review to see if your current policy is still a good fit. An agent will assess changes in your life, like new vehicles or drivers. Make sure you've got the right coverage and all the discounts you deserve. They'll also see how a AAA membership can round out your protection on the road. Plus, provide roadside assistance, discounts, free services, and vacation extras. Ask for your AAA Triple Check today. The area's only 30 minutes or less ER service pledge means you'll find less waiting for the care you need. And because we're full service hospitals, a lot more care if you need it. Less waiting, faster care. Only at Physicians Regional Healthcare System. For years, Naples was known for its Mediterranean style, but that's yesterday's news. The shift to coastal design came with a lot of updating, remodeling, and redecorating. Turns out there's a pro among us who's a master of DIY design. Shelby Reynolds brought us this story in the Daily News. Naples transplant Michelle Rourke hosted several design shows on HGTV in the late 90s and early 2000s. Now a decorating consultant, she enjoys showing people how to refresh their homes by rearranging pieces and adding accessories. Since she moved to town three years ago, she's pitched in and helped the store style its furniture displays to create inviting spaces using secondhand goods. A quick tip, she suggests you pull everything out of a room and redistribute what you like, giving it new perspective and a fresh look. Okay, we had to travel to the West Coast, the other West Coast, to tour this California mega money mansion. It's currently the most expensive house on the real estate market in the U.S., with an asking price topping $250 million. This comes to us from the USA Today Network. That will do it for this edition of Behind the Headlines, Southwest Florida's only local news magazine. You can always re-watch this show or view past editions online by logging on to naplesnews.com. On the left-hand side under Quick Links, select Behind the Headlines. I'm Amy Osher, see you back here next week. So, uh, and like I said, every every person has has a story to tell. You just have to talk to them long enough to figure out what that what that story is. And what is your story? <laughs> <laughs> no, now that you've got improved. Okay, I ended up a couple here of cut from shots. Indiana. And you know, with uh, just for kind of pictures, was this the first edition or something? Yes, very first one, inaugural edition. So it's a year, February. So the, the edition that you're featuring is the exact year. Where was this shot? Uh, it looks Naples, like a gallery too, maybe. Or... Naples Grand Hotel. Mm-hmm. That's. That's the impact I want to have. Like, oh, that is so beautiful. Like, I, 
one of the dresses I picked for her, she's like, I'm buying for myself. So I love that. You know, that's like, okay, I did the job right. <laughs> downtime? I don't want any downtime. I like to keep my energy flowing throughout the shoot. Oh yeah, baby, can you go this way? Yep, 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 she can help you. 